We're getting our first look tonight at the man police say gunned down his estranged wife and the man giving her a ride home from work. Police say Sean Hiles then shot himself. He's recovering at the hospital tonight, but this double murder has stunned a community. Police were called to Mulligan Road in Dry Ridge around midnight, about 40 minutes from downtown Cincinnati. That's where police found Nicole Hiles and Larry Whitaker shot to death. Just yesterday, Nicole filed for a protective order against Sean. Nine on your side's Tony Moronis talked to Nicole's father, who had strong words about Sean Hiles. He killed her. He murdered her. That's my daughter. My only daughter, my baby girl. Five, seven, and 1981, she was born. Police say Sean Hiles tracked down and killed his wife, Nicole, and the man who was driving her home from work, Larry Whitaker. Nicole's dad is unforgiving. I hope he does live. Yeah, I want him to live. Because I'm going to put his head on the post in my front yard. That's yeah. not what I'm going to do, but, but that's what I want to do. You know, because that's what he deserves. He killed my daughter, killed my baby girl. Pain, anger, sadness, all rolled up into a little self-blame. You know what? I was somewhat controlling my own self, and, and she fell for the same kind of man that I was. Nicole's dad still wants Sean held accountable. He shot himself in the stomach. He didn't have enough to shoot his own self in the head like he killed my daughter. Tony Moronis, nine on your side, Grant County. Her dad said Whitaker was simply taking Nicole home and that they were not having an affair. Meantime, this shooting stirred up terrible memories for Alicia Waters. Last summer, the 32-year-old was shot five times by her estranged husband before he took his own life. Nine on your side's Jason Law talked to Alicia tonight about what she's doing to protect men and women from abusive partners. Jason? Carol, when Alicia heard about the news, she told me it broke her heart. As you can imagine, these types of tragedies hit particularly close to home for her and stir up some terrible memories from last summer. When Alicia Waters found out what happened to Nicole Isles and Larry Whitaker, she thought not again. Another victim, two more victims. Sadly, Waters can relate. Yeah, because like, like them, I was ambushed. They didn't see it coming. I mean, is it that bad letting go of somebody? Does it have to come to this? A year ago, she was shot five times by her estranged husband, Dennis Mathis. Now paralyzed from the waist down, Waters is lobbying to change Kentucky laws regarding cyber stalking and psychological torture. Just like Nicole Isles, Alicia also received threatening text messages in the days leading up to the shooting. If we could have that law in place, if we would have had that law in place, maybe it would have saved their lives. Alicia's mother took this morning's news as hard as her daughter did. It's like being right back there that day that she got gunned down. She went seeking protection too, and it just seems like more and more women are getting turned away. Alicia is now the voice of a movement against domestic violence. She says she's contacted all the time by women in abusive relationships. Sometimes at least one a day. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but that's a lot. And when they come to you and say, hey, I was in your situation too. Alicia and her family have put together a website with links for places people can go in case they need help. There's also an online petition here in case you're interested in helping change the law in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. It's the website is aidforalicia.com. We're live tonight. Jason Law, 9 on your side.